So, Brolo, you, you think you understand this now? Um, yeah. This is T Guy Tom, and he is notably one of the best berry farmers in Rust I have ever met. But how did I meet him? On last month's Force Wipe, I planned to make a berry farm, but I had no idea where to even begin. So that's when I was searching the web for berry farm guides, and I came across his tweet. And right away, I knew he would be the perfect guy for our group. I mean, seriously, his name is T Guy Tom, for Christ's sake. So I sent him a message asking him to join, and soon enough, he was on board. Then, when the long awaited force wipe finally came, we decided we'd play on a vanilla monthly wipe. So I loaded into the server to meet up with Tom and the rest of my group. Oh my god, I'm finally in! Yo, welcome! So I have the starter base for the berry farm down right now. Oh, nice, perfect. Is, uh, is Harvest over there too? Oh, Harvest put down the main base right up the hill from me. Oh, and this is my friend Harvest. He would also be joining Tom and I for this wipe. Can I get a team invite? Yeah, yeah, come here. Flashbang? You're Flashbang? By the way, if you're curious why the team has so many people, I, I might have invited a few people to help us out later. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, I would be joining this wipe almost three hours late, but I had gotten in team with my group. Harvest had invited our friends Killer and Koala. They have some pretty unique skills which will come in handy later on. Tom had also put down the starter base to our tea farm in the river, while Harvest and the others will be setting up the main base. Our base was located in D7, right on a river, and directly to the east, we'd have easy access to the snow, as well as a plethora of monuments around us such as underwater labs, airfields, and much more, which will play a big role in getting this farm going. Okay, so Tom, how do we get started on this tea operation? You're the best tea farmer in Rust, so what do we need to get this farm set up? You tell me, and I'll make it happen. All right, we need a good bit of stone so we can get the first floor started. We need a bunch of components for electronics and pumps, way more tarp than you'd expect. And most importantly, what we need is berry seeds. <laughs> All right, so you said we need stone, components, and berry seeds. All right, sounds good. Don't you worry, Tom, I'm gonna get right to it. So yeah, that was the plan for now. For components, we all split up to run roads for barrels and looted underwater labs. Can you stack on this, dude? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Jesus, one lab's running where you loaded. We also made a small stop at Airfield to unlock the Chinook break. I'm that wasn't in your mouth, I swear to God. That wasn't me, that was him. One right now. Ooh, oh, okay. Two, two, three, four. <laughs> then when we had enough components, we farmed as much stone as possible and left it up to Tom to get all the seeds he needed. Finally, almost two hours later, we had everything we needed to start building the farm. Here you go, hope that helps. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you, brother. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna go AFK for a little though, so I'll check back in on you in like an hour or so. So yeah, things were looking pretty good for us, and at this point in the wipe, we had been making really good progress. We also didn't really have any form of competition or any issues to deal with, but that would all change rather soon. Uh, just got door canned by this It's Bravo guy? He's dead. Okay, I'll get my stuff. Yep, here it is. Alright, thanks. Uh, oh wait, you said it's Bravo, right? Yeah, why? He was, uh... He was in that trio that tried to build down the river from us. Wait, what? When, when did this happen? Literally right after you gave Tom everything for the farm and you went AFK. I, I, I tried to tell him to go away, but he wouldn't listen to me. Listen, bro. I'll let you move out of the area if you leave right now. It's up to you. If you want to leave peacefully, you can. Man, I don't want any trouble, man. How is my base across the river going to affect your big chunky base that's already three feet tall? Listen, we're, we're, we're trying to be nice. We're just trying We're trying to give you the opportunity to leave. We're not door camping. Listen, Jesus Christ, Tom. I had gone AFK after supplying Tom with the necessary resources for our farm. However, I didn't know upon my return, I would be getting involved with an ongoing dispute between my group and the so-called three man that has set up down the river from us. Now, I didn't have much of an introduction with them yet besides just being door camped, but rightfully so, this Bravo guy wanted to get back at us for evicting him. Although, we weren't sure what he was capable of, so I guess for now, we're just gonna have to watch out for him and his group. Hey, Brello, you ready to check out the tea farm? Oh yeah, sure, I'll come check it out. Oh, and nice and nice and snazzy now. This is what we got so far. Yeah. So now we got the lights going. Uh, I'm just I'm just connecting these sprinklers right now. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help at all? Well, well, actually, I left this room empty for you to do. Okay. Cool. Let's get started. All right, Brolo. First, you put down the planter box. Then place your lights in the middle, right there. That's the most efficient way of lighting your planters. Okay. While you're at it, you'll want to jam your sprinklers on the end along the wall. Anything more is just gonna be overkill. Gotcha. All right. Now take your wire tool and branch out of the E branches to the lights. And then you can do the same to the pump. All right. Cool. And lastly, take your hose tool and run to the sprinklers. Sweet. Cool. I think I got it. You know. 
Tom, I gotta ask you, why do you choose to farm teeth? I mean, honestly, it's just a different angle to play Rust, and teas are the best. You get more resources, extra health, and just generally good for your soul. <laughs> okay. Uh, these plant genetics look pretty good, right? Uh, no, these, these plants are garbage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plant them, pick them, eat them, replant them, and then we'll try again. What do these uh, letters mean? Well, okay, so look, the G's, they stand for grow. The Y's, they stand the X, for yield. The, the, the H is hard to good for bad. The X is and just the W means it has grow more water. water. Really Some people would argue that you have four Y's. Two. Uh, it's, honestly, bro, don't worry about any of that. I'll take care of it. <laughs> all right, perfect. Yeah, I was just gonna leave it up to Tom to handle all the genetics and the cloning. But for the first day, it was starting to come to an end. So I spent my last efforts farming up a bunch of resources in the snow. This way, Tom could use it for building up the tea farm. Okay, I'm leaving a bunch of stone and whatnot in the main base for you. I'm gonna head off to bed now. See you tomorrow, Roger Tom. That. Good night. night. Have a good one. Good night, everybody. Good night. Adios. Godspeed, brother. Good night, man. So, yeah, day one was pretty good, and we got a lot done. Tom and I had got the tea farm up and running, while Harvest and the others secured the main base. And our plan for day two was to expand the tea farm and reap the benefits from it. So let's get right into day two. You guys built this place up. Jesus Christ, is this what you guys were doing up at 6 a.m. making all these rockets? Oh yeah, yeah, we use some of them too. Wait, 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 wait. what the heck? You just put a second floor down on this thing already? I just found out that almost my entire team had been up all night on the server. Ooh, look at this place. It's fucking beautiful. Are these all good genes? Oh, YYGG. Oh my god, bro. We got some really good berries. That's what you've been doing since 6 a.m. Alright, check this big box. Oh, okay. Alright, so we do a round of grow. We pick, then we do a clone, then we do another round of grow. Oh, alright. Yeah, so there was a lot that had been done while I was asleep last night. Our main base is massive now, the tea farm has two floors, and Tom managed to get both perfect genes for red, yellow, and blueberries. Uh, Bralo. Can I, uh, can I speak to you really quick about something? Uh, yeah, sure, what's up? Uh, so, look, uh, I see you and Tom have your tea farm up and running, and uh, I need a favor. Okay, uh, what is it? So, don't ask why, but I need 100 purities, and I need it by tonight. Uh, what do you mean, by tonight? What, why, why do you- I said don't ask me why, Brawlo, and if you, if you throw in a few per wood teas, I'll send you a glory AK skin or something. <laughs> Alright, you got a deal. So, I didn't waste any time. I got straight to harvesting as many berries as I could. Thanks to Tom, he had already gotten perfect gene clones for both yellow and- Blueberries. which would be crucial for making Ortiz. Then while I waited for the next berry harvest, I spent that time making as many Ortiz as possible. However, to get pure Ortiz, I would need to do one batch of basic teas, then add them back to the mixer to get advanced teas and repeat. Ooh, the first 10 pure Ortiz. Let's go. Advanced Ortiz, okay, there we go. Yeah, I need more yellow berries. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the tea farm and get some more. You gotta be kidding me. That's right. The same son of a bitch who door camped me back on day one decided to finally show up. But it would be exactly at the moment I was mindlessly transferring almost half the purities I needed to give to Harvest later. I wasn't gonna let him get away with this. Secure up. They're right down the shore. Let's go. Alright. Alright, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, just go. I'd go right here. And then just go down the shore. He's, uh, he's holding out the power line. Oh, oh there's somebody in the road, somebody in the road, somebody yeah, in the road. He's going to loot died. his body. We got fucking UAV, bro. Yeah, oh my god. There's two. There's two guys. Why is three times? He's headshot. headshot. There's three. There's a guy on your left. Guy on the left side is hit twice. Guy on the boat. Guy on the boat. To your left. Pazzy. He's got gear. Oh, I'm gonna push up. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. God, oh, the grass. He's dead. I got him. <sighs> yeah. So, unfortunately, he got away. We were too far behind, and there was a lot of other people coming to the fight that held us back. But, luckily for us, we found out exactly where he lived. Okay, guys, look. We know where Bravo lives, and we, we can't let a measly little door camper steal from us. No. I say we pay him a visit. What do you guys think? Should we show him that we're more than just tea farmers? Yeah! Yeah! Get him. yeah. yeah. I'll rock it where you rock it, Harvest. Come out and put your f hands up! Uh, you see? What the fuck? Oh, bro, bro, what is this? <laughs> what is this? What is on the note? Wait, wait, wait where's the note? Oh, Look at the note! Look at the note! Look at the note! Yo, what? 
There's no. <laughs> no shot. No. How did he know? Bro, it's no Bravo. shot. <laughs> I've never seen this in my <laughs> my life. Yeah, this Bravo guy. I will admit, he got the best of us. Some might say we deserved it for evicting him in the beginning, but he ran off with our teas, despawned all his loot, suspecting to be raided, and logged off the server, never to come back. So. Our raid was over, and all that was left to do was to finish getting all the teas we needed for harvest. So I spent probably over three hours harvesting berries, replanting, and mixing. In the end, I managed to hand over 100 pure teas, and in the same day, I made some pure wood teas. So we said f it, and my friends and I drank all the wood teas. Two, one, drink. Drink up, boys. We got over one million wood in 15 minutes, purely on vanilla, using teas. Oh, my teas. Oh, my teas, teas. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, so Alright, give me a, give me an uh, emote. Three, two, one. All I have left to say is that teas are underrated. So Harvest, what exactly did you need those four teas for again? You know, the thing is, I don't think it'd be easy to just tell you. How about I show you instead? If you want to see what Harvest used the teas for, go check out this video on screen now. Otherwise, check out my other video where I got over 150,000 scrap from horses.